here we go again, back with some more exciting races in Pro Cycling in 2015. Today we're doing two monuments, Milan's Vrai and Milan's Vrai. We'll also be doing Amstel Gold Race and Frisvalon in the middle of them. But let's get the first monument done over it. It is the first one of the season, Milan San Remo. It is a race created for flat type riders and in real life some hill specialists can maybe get a breakaway and make it to the line. But still, I don't expect much in this one. I'm just racing it because I think it's the first time I'm participating in the race. So hopefully we can get a good position overall and maybe even a top 10 place would be nice. We're coming up to the suppressor now. Only missing that in Poggio. And then we have to finish last 30 kilometers now. Two, plum, two kilometers to the bottom of the climb. Still four guys in the morning breakaway out front. Shouldn't be a big threat overall. I really have no plan. I mean, I might as well risk it and, and, and go at a pretty high pace up Cipressa. But it's not that steep and it's not that long. So I won't really drop anybody off. I could hurt some of the sprinters. But still, they're sitting so far up front right now that even if I do, it won't matter. I feel like they've made this... Stay it's a bit too difficult for the climbers or the hill specialists actually. Who's Sky? Oh, the Sky is riding for Caleb Ewan. And MTN Quebec is riding for Marcel Kittel, of course. So then I'm sitting in my wheel while I'm pulling this peloton up the climb. I, 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 I think I'm hurting him quite a lot right now. But they're probably stronger than I imagined them to be. Van Rensburg. Has problems holding on to my wheel right now as I'm getting up to Shia from the break array. Still have Pudger left and a little bit more of Suppressor, but I can't keep 80 pace for all time. I have to wear them down a lot here and then save energy once we're at the top and then do the same thing on Pudger like I did here. That's really the only way I can do it right now. And Standard is the one with the task of keeping me down. Stupid Ian Standard. So we made it over the top. Dropped 28 riders, but it seemed like they have made it back already. Christoph, of course, I'm not going to drop him here. He's too good. Where is he? Keep being caught as well. Both riders are way too good to be dropped on stage like this. So we have Viviane from uh, my team. It's probably our best chance at winning. It really seems like MT and Quebec is riding this for Marcel Kittel right now. Don't want to let any breakaway get away. There's still one guy out in front. Santometer from Androni team. 74 hills. That shouldn't be that big of a threat. Especially, he's probably going to be caught in the sprint anyway. Once the really powerful guys put in their sprints. 85 here. Prambila tries to get me some water. Thank you, Prambila. I have to lead in the lead in with a bit of speed here, so I'm going at 85 in, immediately up. Van Rensburg is blocking me a bit in here. I can't really get past them. They're doing what I'm usually doing. Is that Viviani on my wheel right now? It's not like I'm trying to set a train for him, but oh, he's probably on the wheel of Kittle. Yeah, Kittle is in, is in third position right now. I can't even keep up with this at the moment. I have the entire sprint train here. Who's that driving away? Santromita still from the breakaway. Uh, that's not really big enough of a gap to actually get away here. I don't think so, it is at least. I have no yellow bar left. That's almost, if it just was a bit strong, I probably could have done this. Yeah, my red bar is done as well now. Here comes the sprint train. Kittel in third position. It's looking pretty perfect. Viviane is just behind Christoph. Christoph and Kittel or Viviane is going to win this one. I can, can I block somebody in here? Can I block Caleb in here? <laughs> At least increase the chances that Viviane takes a top three place. Drop, I block Demar. I think that's Stegen called Sagan is nowhere to be seen, I think. Yeah, Sagan is gone. Sitting down here, Michael Matthews, Buhani is badly placed as well. Saro, another Francis de Sur rider. Okay, Demar is of course from Team Saxon now. Completely forgot about that. Ryerson is leading out Kittel in the last kilometer here. Bit of a hole now. Can't really see that much. Kittel, Viviani. 
Kristoff, I think Kristoff is taking this. Kristoff in front of Kittler and Viviani, I think it is. Yeah, Kristoff takes it in front of Kittler and Viviani. Nice third place once again for our team in the Midlands Remo. I take like, I don't know, where, where was I even? Oh, there I came. I think I'm like 40, 40 or 50th place. That's okay. I tried and did work out. Let's get to the first of the Hill Classics. Here we are with the first of the three Aden Classics. Amstel Gold Race Master Quantenburg is also called. And for some reason we have decided not to check any of our best Hill Classic racers with us. So I'll be one of the best guys on the team behind Galopang and Bindel. So the first season I think I got 24th and last year I got 41st place. I'm better than ever this year. So I'm going for top 15. That's my goal. Top 15. I'm hoping for top 10 will be really nice. It's the last 30 kilometers of the race. I've gotten a little 12 man group here. We have Ella Flip just out in front. The big guy that it's lots of them have Michael Matthews, Barclands, and then Martin. And Tim Bellens as well. So they're really trying to catch him and they are catching him now. So we have a little 16 man group. One man caught in the middle. Bille, and then 14 men behind with my captain Kreuz got be behind those riders. Uh, in the group with those riders. I want to sit this far forward right now. I want to be saving energy. Can I go a bit back now, please? It's still not Sudel, but I don't think they're riding that fast. It seems like the group behind us is catching up. It's Barter Pearls, riding for Jan Albertson. St. Bennett from the breakaway, I think it is, is tired now, can't keep up anymore. This is looking good right now for my top 15 spot. I think we have another, another hill right here, yeah. 800 meters long, 9% average. The, the group behind us should be catching up with us now. And yes, they are. And I can't keep up here. Even going at 85, I'm too slow on this steep section. Dillier, Rentarme. Am I still here? Am I still in the group? I can't really tell. Nick, Malakan, Tame. I think I'm actually still in the group. That's a great result right now. Still being here. Still in top 15. The riders behind me are really close. I know that. That's Lindemann. Malakane gone. I have three lots of Sudal riders out in front now. I get my final water bottle here. Uh, I thought I could do it without dropping down to him. I'll have to save some energy here. I can't go too fast. There's four. I actually can see there's seven, nine, ten riders in front of me. I'm in 11th position right now. There's eight riders just behind me. Darkland is done. I think Seri is done too. Kudos is still sitting here. That's a bit surprising. I thought he would do better. I have to pull the pace down even more because I can't handle this for a very long time. Right now, it just seems like I'm just pulling these guys to a top 10 finish. This is a battle for 8, but there's a 5, 6 riders who just caught up to us now. At least they should caught up to us in a matter of seconds. With the last 5 kilometers, the front group is in the last 2.5. They're going up cowback right now. There, there they come. It's Valverde, Moscon from OGN, uh, Green Edge, of course. Okay, Green Edge, Pedicerie. Ale Philippe launches sprint. I don't know who's in front. It's Ale Philippe, Tim Valens, Vitkovsky, then Martin, Michael Matthews, and De Bellis. But they has dropped off here at the end. It doesn't look good right now for my top 10 or top uh, 15 place, I would say. Unless all of the other guys are really weak. Two. I don't think they are. Michael Kreuziger, Valverde. Ale Philippe takes it over all in front of Tim Valens. Okay, I think I'm actually good for top 15 right now. Sadly, I think I got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, just outside top 10. Pretty close, but I, I'll act, I'm actually really satisfi satisfied with this result. Considering I was not at all close to being a top 10 favorite for this race. So, let's move on to the Flesh Villon. Here's the second of the 3 Classics, the one on the Wednesday. 
the really flat stage overall, but it ends up Murihui, which is a really steep, around two kilometer long climb. So I'll try and make my move a bit before I have a bit, bit of a head start going into Murihui, but usually a small group has already gotten away in this game. In real life, you usually have a pretty big group making it together once at the final climb. Let's get the race started. In the last 33 kilometers now, going up Mutuhui soon, I'll try and make a bit of an effort there and see how many riders can hold on. I'll put it around 80, 85, and we'll see. I think we'll probably get some attacks as well from some other riders. Well, I probably should start effort now. Uh, actually, that's probably a bit too early as well. I'll stick right here so I'm in the top position of the peloton so I can quickly go forward and not be plugged in once we reach the climb. We still have the last climb, a pretty new addition, I think, and the final mode will be passage as well. But it'll be nice to get a group going soon. Okay, I have to go now, I think. Down here, moving forward, it's 82 hour riding right now for Bade. Here is Mudri. Of course, it doesn't look as epic in this game as it does in real life. We have Pierre Bue and Ed Rojas in my wheel. Oh, we can see the Pelton struggling now. Have to be sitting in the front of the field if he wants to go with this pace. I didn't really get a gap and I didn't really drop anybody because it is so short. So the Pelton will catch me again immediately, I think. Yeah, no real chances there. But I, I feel like I tired out a lot of people there. I left Lips still up sitting up here, then Martin Kwiatkowski, all of them buried that the Pelton was going to crack under my pace there. I'll try and find a position in the top 10 again, just behind the leading riders. We have one small hill and then the last two climbs, and I think we'll see most of the action on the second to last climb, and the last climb will pretty much be just a sprint, and who, with over who, who has the most in the left. And don't imagine it would be me, but I'm still going for top 15, top 10 place today. Just like in the last race. Next climb here, I don't think we'll see much Col de Ref. Let's see. 6.8 nav, it's 1.3 kilometers long. Oh, I just thought I saw an attack from Kwiatkowski. Oh, he actually did attack. Kwiatkowski from Tinkov Saxum making his move. Tinkov Saxum, of course, have both Ale Philippe and Kwiatkowski on the team. It's probably the strongest duo right now in the entire peloton. And they're actually working. Are they working for Aru? They're not working for me, right? I think they're working for Aru or Kreuziger. Probably Kreuziger. Kalapang's in a tough pace up this climb. You see the Pelton's really stretched right right now. If I was in the bottom of the Pelton right now, I would have been screwed anyway. So it's really nice that I'm sitting up in the front. Le Danois. Of course, I think I was need the winner after under 23 race here the other day. Yeah, he's not that great in this game. I'll probably get a stat update in a stat upgrade once we hit 2016 in a couple of months, it'll, it'll, probably nine months. Okay, we're getting really close to the climb. I'll have to go around 85, 90 up this one. There's two riders in front. It's I didn't even notice that they attacked Elephant and Martin. Don't care about them because I don't think I can beat them anyway. Surprisingly, Aru and Koizu are still standing still. Now I'll have to move up in the front so I don't get caught behind some weaker riders here. But the attacks here, I think. Rohan Dennis tries to go with him. Dibelis has been really strong, 79 hills. Got fifth in Amstel Gold Race. Valverde, Kelderman. Uh, I'll have to put up to 90 a bit. Aru and Kreuzberg are not following. It's not a great sign for my team here. Don't really know why they've put in so much work. When there's only Kvitkovsky out in front of them, we don't really have a specialist ourselves. Last three kilometers or so. I still have to put out 90 still because might as well. There's no other use for my energy right now. Got to pass as many skies as possible before we enter the climb here. Last kilometer. And uh, Filip Kvitkovsky has pretty much taken this one. We have Bade 
Uh, Dan Martin, Tim Valens, and Adel Flip in second position right now. Me in six. Can I get a top six finish? Uh, sixth place. That's really quick to solve on a on a semi classic or oh, a real classic. That's not a semi classic. This one. It's a real classic one. Next up is the Monument Les Van Lage. If you can get a top 10 there, that would be absolutely amazing because that's one of the most prestigious races on the entire calendar. And here it is, the Monument Les Van Lage. Crazy, crazy stage, this one. Lots of hills and ends up in another hill at the end and it's just a flat corner towards the end. But we're really excited to drive this one. I have, can actually, have I driven this one before? I can check here, 51st last year. So, I'm hoping for top 15, just like another race this time. If I could improve my sixth place in, uh, in Flesvalon, that'd be absolutely great as well. Don't expect it, but I'm hoping for it. We're in the last 40 kilometers of the Lisbon race right now. This is where the race gets really interesting because we have the first of the big final climbs here, Côte de la Radute, and one of the most famous ones. A lot of times the deciding attack has ha actually happened right here. I'll move forward now because we're only we are around one or two kilometers away now. The pills and uh, the breakaway is there already. Can I see? Can, have I timed it? Probably. Well, I feel like I've actually timed it really well this time. Maybe I actually timed it a bit too early as well. I should have gone around one second later. Two from my own team trying to go with me here. Don't really know why. Actually, has some okay stats. He's really not losing a lot of energy just sitting here. I'm slowly getting weighted. Not that actually that scared of me this time, it seems. Maybe they just were just caught off guard by the pace I said at the beginning. We have one guy behind us, I think it's Kwiatkowski actually. And here he is. 85. I would have been so nice to be on his wheel right there. It seems like he's just slowly getting away by himself. That's a bit sad. I was hoping I could stay with him. And am I blocked in now behind some weak riders? Yeah. Not weak riders, but weaker riders, of course. So now we have Alef uh, Kvitkovsky a long way ahead of everybody else. I'm down in the peloton again. I just thought I had a, a, a second there. If I could have followed on Kvitkovsky's wheel and gotten a water bottle by sitting there as well, that would have been so nice. Toro is really giving his all right now. I couldn't even stick on Galpang's wheel at 85 effort. That means that he's going around 1995. Maybe even more. I think I can slow down again now a bit. Kvitkovsky is close to getting caught. I'll have to move up now because the next climb is starting. Col de Rocher of Hong Don't know how to pronounce that. It's complete guess. I have no idea. Toro leading up the peloton. Don't think he's catching up with Kvitkovsky. Kvitkovsky has probably decided this race right now in his favor. Can it do both Flesvalon and this one days in a row? Would be a great result from him. A lot of attacks there. I don't know if any of them actually stuck. I think two riders got away. Yeah, Le Philippe and Dan Martin again. Still sitting here. Last 18 riders. Unless I end last in this group, I am pretty much guaranteed a top uh, 20 place. Not a few riders got away. Uh, Roland by the end report this time. We're now six guys in front of me and 11 guys in this group. I'm close to securing that crazily good top 20 place that I'm hoping for. But I'm struggling just keeping on right now. I can't close the gap down to these guys. The plus now. Galopang. And Galopang will have to wait for Koisiga now. I think Galopang is strongest of the two. Oh yeah, Koisiga is really weak as well though. Not much, not much left him in either. Everybody in this group is weak, I think, apart from uh, Valverde. Valverde should have been up there, but he's getting old as well. He only has like, what does he have? 81 hills, that's now. I think he had 83 or something like that in the start of the game. Right now, one, three, 
9, 10 riders in front of us. I'm in 11, 12. I think I'm in 13 position right now. I'm actually still sticking just behind the Astana rider is Kelderman and Valverde. They have no idea left either. They're just as tired as I am. Catching up with Philip Silber around the final corner here. 10th. And I think I get 11, 12, 13th overall. Pretty good result for me. Best of my team, even beat Kreuzko and Haru. And I don't think I get any World Tour points for this, which is a bit sad, but I did get some on the last time it, in the first one, so a bit of points for the overall standings there as well. Next up, I'm actually not sure. I'll not do the Giro, of course, because I've already won that. So I think I'll probably be Dauphiné Libre or Tour de Suisse. Haven't really decided which one I'll drive yet. I'll take a little profiles. And I'll see you guys in the next video for yeah some more exciting racing. Then we'll head on to the Tour de France later. See you guys. Goodbye.